Hey, welcome back to the High Heels and Tea podcast. I'm Crystal Lee. It's, it's Rihanna. <laughs> you ain't said how you always be saying. I don't know. I just got thrown off. I don't know. Why. Yeah. Well, <laughs> today, y'all, we just want to have a real quick mini chat with y'all about personal branding. Okay. Wait, how does my wig look? You look good. It's all right. Okay, I don't know why I feel like it's like all the way back. No, it's good. All right, all right. Yeah, I had to make sure I ain't, I ain't exposing my real forehead. If a wig come off, yeah. Oh, help me. Just, <laughs> just act like it didn't happen. Um, yeah, I'm yes. trying to get up and walk away. <laughs> so this we're going to talk about personal branding. And we all know personal branding is different from your business brand, right? <laughs> And um, y'all know I get inspiration from everywhere, right? Like every other song, like, oh, what's for this topic? So this topic came from, again, social media. Um, I wanted to know what your thoughts on a couple of things about personal branding. And maybe we can educate some new entrepreneurs about personal branding and business and all the good stuff. So what sparked this was seeing how some entrepreneurs like, they will go on social media and they will talk about certain topics. Mm -hmm. They would, I want to almost say, expose their customers, like for mm. having bad, mm. what is it, bad customer behavior? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm. Something personally that I've witnessed and that I've always like stayed away from is like if I go on social media and I see an entrepreneur, someone that's the owner of a boutique or whatever, right? And they talking about certain stuff. They beefing with somebody, baby mama, baby daddy, cousin Tracy, yeah. or yeah, ghetto. or or whatever. They just ghetto. They see ghetto. ghetto. I literally would judge they not shop with you. And I'm like, damn, I don't want to really judge it or whatever. But you can kind of tell some of the situations that messy. people be involved in that they are a messy person, right? Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell. It's hard to distinguish as an entrepreneur and have that discipline because it's like almost like how what the celebrities have with their issues. Like mm -hmm. I'm human, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm human, but it's still like uh, it's uh, the rhyme and the reason and yeah. things that you should. You still do. have to hold yourself to like this higher level and watch what you're doing, watch People what you're saying, you. are and maintain you. an yeah. image. So, what do you think? Have you ever been like discouraged or decided not to shop with somebody because of how they act? on social media uh so honestly i'm more of a person if i if i see something i want it i'm gonna get it i wouldn't care what your situation is mm. but i do judge based off of that. <laughs> i do judge people based off situations and mm -hmm. i've seen it multiple times um i just think it's very unprofessional i mm. feel like when you start a business or you put yourself out there to people mm -hmm. you have to uh abstain this dynamic or this platform or this, this mm -hmm. stability of look that you should have for yourself mm -hmm. because it's not just about you anymore it's more so about your brand mm -hmm. and it's like you never know who's looking at you mm -hmm. you never know who you're going to run into people my i was just having this conversation the other day my page is it's public. Mm -hmm. Anybody can come on my page and look at whatever because mm -hmm. I want to sell shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be private with anybody. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I don't really care. If you're coming on my page to stalk me, to eat your song, baby. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's not a big deal. Like, what are you looking for? I, I, whatever I have is is for the fun. For I'm not a type of person where I put all my business on social media mm -hmm. anyway. So you're not gonna find nothing. All you're mm -hmm. gonna see on my page is me supporting everybody around mm -hmm. me, me posting shoes content information about my business yeah me posting events that i'm having me supporting my friends me put, that's all you're going to see on my page anyway so at the end of the day i'm not going to no matter how i feel because it's been several times people have came for me definitely when you're in the business people will come for mm -hmm. you but you have to check your you know that's that that 90 second rule yeah you have to check yourself that was you have a question to, i had yeah take I, a step back and who think, wanted oh, to expose baby. a customer yeah screenshot you because they be saying crazy stuff to you yeah. like people be coming to your stuff like i for example girl had an event yeah um was hosting an event um, come to find out this other lady that I know was hosting an event on the same day. Okay. Had nothing to do with her event yeah. whatsoever. She came in my inbox like, you, you have an event on this day and the same thing as me, blah, blah, blah. When did you come up with this idea? Who are you to even 
Who are you? And Ooh. why do you think that I'm looking at you that, that much to want to be like you? Or want to even... Yeah. I have my own ideas, my yeah. own mindset. I've wow. been planning this for months, baby. It wow. has nothing to do with you. I'm not even... Did you wait, respond to it? And that's what I did. I, you know me. I, I'm going... I'm I'm gonna give her to a raw, but in the white people voice. Yeah. So I, I definitely went off on her. I also congratulated her on her day. Told her I wish her prosperity and all of that when she, you know, what I'm saying for her event. But girl, no, because that's what people do. The devil will send people to you to tar to turn you down when you are at your highest. Mm -hmm. So that's sometimes you have to sweep that stuff under the rug and let it go because people yeah. will come for you regularly. I never had to. I, I never have done it. But I've definitely won it. I've had to fight the urges to like publicize my experience mm -hmm. with different people, you know what I'm saying? Customers, business, especially, Man. you know, it's hard, especially being an entrepreneur. Like you just don't want to be I, like, I don't like to be the reason that people don't shop with you. Mm -hmm. So if I had a bad experience or something with you, I would just tell the people I know. You know what I'm saying? More than anything yeah, because it's like, yeah, but I don't want to go on social media and make that public. Um, and then two, if I feel like I had a certain type of experience with you as a customer, mm -hmm. trust and believe one thing I would say is this, is that here in St. Louis specifically, I don't know if this is everywhere, but it's always like certain people. Mm -hmm. It's been times where I've been in other, you know, places of business and this one girl will walk in and everybody has had the same experience yeah, with, that with that girl. So mm -hmm. some of the same way, like these business got reputations for not being the best. A lot of these customers got reputations for being assholes. Yeah. As well. Cheap yeah. assholes ain't been, whatever the situation but is. But my thing so, is, it's just like yeah. if you got a job and you don't like the job, find another one. Yeah. If you go into a place, you have an issue about it. Don't go there. Yeah. Like, I just don't yeah. even understand the perspective between people and the way that they feel about stuff. Like, you going to downplay it, you're going to talk bad mm -hmm. about it, but you're still shopping. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. So, but what do you think about <laughs> from a personal branding standpoint? Like, it's hard because we're human, but what do you think about, like, business or other entrepreneurs that have, like, exposed their customers and their interactions? I think that's unprofessional. Mm -hmm. I think it's so unprofessional because these people, even if they're, they don't have to shop with you. Mm -hmm. They're supporting you, regardless to, as they say, the customer's always right, mm -hmm. which I feel like that's not true. It's not, not but true at the, It's not <laughs> always true. Yeah. But at the same time, these people are reaching out to you to support your business so regardless of how much of an asshole they are to you it's mm -hmm. your business mm -hmm. it's your name it's your brand so so, so with yeah. that being said even if this person's an asshole to you it's my situation okay mm -hmm. baby well you don't have to shop you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying you don't have to you know what i'm saying you oh, don't you don't have to be a part of this that's this, real good this i think support a lot of entrepreneurs are understanding that all money ain't good money yeah like I've been true. seeing a lot of people kind of like at least vent about mm -hmm. their experiences with their customers and then say, I, I gave them a refund mm -hmm. because all money ain't good money. Yeah, like you don't that. have to deal with them. You don't have to deal with negativity or you don't have to deal with the bashing or whatever it is you feel. You don't have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And you can simply just re I want to just use the word reject their service yep. or reject their money, you know, mm -hmm. their business as well. So keep that in mind thank you but no thank you thank you but no thank you you and can go somewhere be else about it either. don't no. personal branding is like really really huge um this is a very broad topic but i wanted to kind of like more so target those don'ts mm -hmm. because we know what we should be doing what we should be doing is talking about our brand what we should be doing is connecting with people that connects with mm -hmm. our brand and our products and our services rubbing and shoulders with the right people exactly but what you shouldn't be doing y'all don't be getting caught up on social media. Don't get caught up on I social separate media. Separate the two. Try to separate them. Separate the two. 90 seconds. This Ooh. girl got you messed up. You stop her and her grandmama. We already know that. <laughs> <laughs> but don't All post it. it, okay? Don't post it. <laughs> don't get on live. <laughs> Oh, girl, this lady yes. just came out of my store, and I was like, "What bitch are you all in my store?" Like, no, no, no. She got issues. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, that's what people be doing. I be on live like, I mean, what? yeah, look, we be just like that. <laughs> she had me for a little bit. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it? Click on okay. her page. Boom. Okay, she telling her side. <laughs> to know what happened was today is. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the part that messes me up when you start seeing the comments, girl. Who was it? 
tell us what we know. Yeah. Where, where, where she come in? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, girl, Ooh. what? Yeah. It was this one situation, but this one was between two entrepreneurs. Mm. Yeah. It was, it's you know, you, I, I think love you, talking about. It was one of the most messiest situations I've, like, that was even worse than entrepreneur bash and customer, customer bash and entrepreneur. I was like, this really is happening. Jerry, Jerry. Wow. Jerry. And it went on for a while. Uh, it wasn't it just like it a was. one, two. It, that went all the way to somebody getting smacked. Yeah, it went on for, it went on for a while. I smacked your mama. A, a lot of. A lot of that. And these were two entrepreneurs like this. We're not doing that either, y'all. And it's just really a, a definitely um, fine line again. I get it. We are human. Mm -hmm. Things happen. But if you better get into this business world, listen, personal branding is important. Even if you better get into business, modeling, what fashion, whatever it is. it is, make sure you pay attention to what you're posting now. Because someone like us, when we get ready to look for some models, we're going to go to your page, we're going to check, and we're going to see, see what, type of, what type of person you is. And if you don't want me to judge you and be like, I can't work with her, because she be beefing with her baby daddy, start baby mama, cousin page. Tracy. Start a new page, baby. Start, start a, delete or start a new page, yeah, okay? Start a new page. So, yes, I hope, y'all, this is, this is opened up. I hope it ain't opened up no old wounds. No, but I would say another No good. Twitter finger wounds. <laughs> <laughs> another very good point of advice mm -hmm. is to think about it like this. Well, for people that have kids, we'll have a more understanding of this. Um, when you start having kids and you start having people that are under you, that you have to look towards you mm -hmm. as a role model, mm -hmm. you have to think about things. You yeah. have to take a stop and think and be like, well, I shouldn't do that. I'm going to go to jail. Yeah. Or, you know, because mm -hmm. in your brain, you have to realize that I have other people that's looking at me. Yeah. And it, whether it be your kids, that's, you know, and these people are important to you. So yeah. look at that as that way. This is my brand. That's my baby child. Yeah. So this is my, this is my, my baby brand. So I want to put forth as much energy, positivity as I possibly can without having somebody come on my page and see mess. Yeah. You know, nobody wants to deal with mess. Yeah. Some people do. Some, Some people, people like do. mess. You might attract but, it. But, but if you want to reach a higher level, yeah. nobody wants Ain't to nobody mess. messing with that. No. That's a good gem to drop. Job saying good. Well, I hope y'all enjoy our real mini episode on, I said real mini, mini short <laughs> episode um, on just personal branding tips when it comes to social media. Yes. Okay. Thank you for tuning in to the High Heels and Tea podcast. You.